said they wanted a commercial that shows everywhere the CI Proud to Go mobile app keeps you connected to Central Illinois. So here you go, CI Proud to Go, available on all devices on planet Earth, not available on Mars yet. Maybe. Now your forecast first, sponsored by Surf Pro, restoration experts like it never even happened. Hey there, good morning. 5 o'clock, an hour and 14 minutes out from that sunrise on our Goods Furniture Sky Camera. We're at 75 degrees. Cluster of storms sitting out to our northwest. This is what we're watching for across central and now pushing into eastern Iowa. As that continues to sink in our direction. That's going to put the storms right here at home in central Illinois, starting in our western areas first around 9 o'clock this morning, spreading into the rest of the area toward midday and early afternoon. Close look at the timing and potential impact impacts of that for you in just a few minutes. First, WMDD News this morning starts right now. Now here's a look at your weather with meteorologist Lauren Rainson. Hey, good morning. Time now, 506. Be mindful for those areas of patchy fog, kind of like yesterday. We're dry for now, although clouds will continue to fill in from west to east here very rapidly. It's warm, muggy, mid-70s. Dew points right about there in the lower 70s. Heads up for those incoming showers and thunderstorms, mainly between 9 in the morning and early afternoon. Kids get her getting off of school later this afternoon. That's around the time when the storms should have cleared our eastern counties, with temperatures climbing back into the 80s. Shelby, thank you so much. Time now is 513. While all is quiet here at home this morning, don't let that fool you as we've been closely keeping an eye on that cluster of storms just off to our northwest because that is heading in our direction. But you know when those storms will arrive. Coming up in a few minutes. Here with... Uh Every meteorologist you can imagine. <laughs> All the meteorologists. Lauren and Molly. Just, there, just missing two of us. Chris yeah. and Zach. In yeah. the evenings, they'll be back in later because things are going to turn quite hairy over these next few hours. So don't let this morning's quiet conditions fool you. I know we're taking a look out there on our Paradise Hotel camera there. Just some areas of patchy fog like these last couple of mornings. No rain, not quite yet. It is very toasty. It is very sticky. Already up to 75 degrees. Dew points right about in line there in the lower 70s. In essence, these incoming storms you see they're back off to our northwest they have a lot of moisture a lot of instability to work with as they continue to make a push right here at home I am expecting them to arrive middle to late morning some of that extending in our eastern areas by early afternoon all of central Illinois with the exception of northern Livingston LaSalle County you're in orange that's an enhanced risk for severe storms primarily for damaging winds I wouldn't rule out a quick spin up isolated tornado and we could get some one inch diameter hail. At the very least, several folks will be getting that much needed rainfall. It just takes one strong storm to enhance those amounts as you go through late morning. Timing wise, I'm thinking shortly after nine o'clock, the western part of that will begin to move into Knox, Stark, Fulton, McDonough, and even Henry counties shortly after nine o'clock this morning. That'll put the damaging wind line closer to lunchtime between 11 o'clock and noon before finally exiting the I-55 corridor early afternoon. We left with just a slight rain chance early on in the evening. Otherwise, the majority of the overnight should clear back out very rapidly. Smooth sailing again for the Wednesday morning commute, but the actual cold front itself will still be out to our west. That's going to help usher in additional showers and thunderstorms middle to late in the afternoon on Wednesday. And at that point, our overall severe weather threat will be considerably lower than what we're anticipating today. In the wake of that departing cold front, much cooler, drier air mass will try to spill back in. It will be delayed just a bit, but you will eventually get in on that relief toward the end of the work and school week. By the time the kids are getting out of class later this afternoon, the storms should have cleared our eastern counties. Highs capped at the upper 80s. A slight rain chance early tonight, then partly cloudy, lows cooling to the lower 70s with a light southwest breeze. Come tomorrow, we're looking at the return of afternoon showers and thunderstorms upon that cold front's arrival with highs in the middle 80s. Temperatures and humidity on the downfall we hit Thursday, Friday. Highs barely reaching 80 Thursday, Friday, although under a lot of sunshine. So what a pleasant end of this work and school week. Well, look at this. For your last day, you bring us a couple of potentials for strong storms. I don't know what What's Mother Nature's thinking. I mean, come on. You're going to have to stay late. Yeah, right? <laughs> there we go. Well, it's funny because we wanted to be able to take a little bit of a look back at some of your different looks that you've brought us over the years, Lauren, as Whole we are celebrating years. your time here. Uh, let's take a look at some, some good looks from Lauren.
WMBD 31 News This Morning with Clay Gordon, Lindsay Mills, and meteorologist Lauren Rainson with your local weather authority forecast. WMBD This Morning in High Definition with Clay Gordon, Lindsay Mills, and meteorologist Lauren Rainson with your local weather authority forecast. News at noon with Mark Welp, Shelby Walters. And meteorologist Lauren Langston with your local weather authority forecast. Now, your local weather authority forecast from meteorologist Lauren Rainson. Oh. <laughs> what do you think when you look back at those? Oh, my goodness. No, I don't want to get all teary-eyed. These types of things make me teary-eyed, but I love it. Oh, you're always a beautiful person. And it's funny things. because this is the first time I know I'm seeing all of those <laughs> as well. Uh, but it is funny to kind of see the, the evolution. It is. It is quite hilarious. So so many changes happening within my five years time of being here from launching the HD newscast, launching the Good Day Central Illinois, our new weather graphic system. Just it was amazing to be a part of all of those things here. Looking at those, you haven't <laughs> aged, but you, but which is good, but you've matured. That's true. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? that, 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 that's a good term for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to be checking in with you a little bit more throughout the show. We may have a couple of surprises. Oh, well. boy, I can't wait. All right. <laughs> Cast First, sponsored by Surf Pro. Restoration experts like it never even happened. Hey, thanks for joining us. Step now, 530. Be mindful for those pockets of patchy fog, kind of like these last couple of mornings. We're dry for now. Very warm and sticky, and that's just going to help fuel these incoming storms. You see there back off to our northwest. Cluster storms across central and southeastern Iowa it's prompted a tornado warning just south of Des Moines. And that all continues to make a beeline right for us here at home. So that'll put the storms here between 9 in the morning and early afternoon. A will have precise timing and potential impacts of these strong storms for you in just a few minutes. But first, WMBD News this morning continues right now. Meteorologist and Lord Hey, good morning, 536. Some pockets of patchy fog out there, but that humidity is Gonna hit you like a wall dew points are in the 70s with the air temperatures pushing the middle and even upper 70s in some spots kids are heading into school dry although clouds continue to increase that will give way to those late morning and early afternoon strong storms damaging winds will most likely occur with those strong and severe storms between 9 in the morning first for our western areas spreading east toward i-55 as you get closer to lunchtime kids are getting out of school later this afternoon the storms should have cleared our eastern counties, although that's going to cool us off just a bit, keeping those highs in the 80s. Mark. Boy proud. With Mark Welp, Shelby Roberts, and meteorologist Lauren Rainson with your local weather authority forecast. This is WMBD This Morning. Debris clouds continue to filter in well ahead of that complex of storms out to our northwest across central and now southeastern Iowa. That's right. We'll give you the exact timing on these storms and what you can expect with them coming up. Don't miss out.